we are back and so we can because I'm about to rap get started on these new caps did your boy do good did he do bad if you remember please tell me wait a minute you can't because I got the sheet right on me He's hot, he's fire, he can't be stopped, uncontrolled, be hot, fire. <laughs> Welcome to NFL Recap 14, V14. Did your boy predictions actually succeed to you? Oh, it's a bad. I'm going. I'm, I'm not gonna do bullshit, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because we like that, like that, entwined, like that, and like that. And remember this move, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go for Thursday night football. Steelers versus Vikings. What was Steelers play? We almost had a comeback win, the biggest margin of comeback ever, and they come up dropping the ball. Just how, you know? <sighs> Y'all could have been a very, very, come down to the last minute, come back. Still it didn't come back. Vikings take the victory. Justin Jefferson. Monster. Who was the beast and the fact of this game? Davon Cook. This nigga. Ah, shifty. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Hey, great victory on the Vikings. Steelers, you gotta come out and play like you did with a comeback. If you did, you think the game would have been like it was? Come on now. Saints versus Jets. See, this is what happens when you go on pure emotions. Let me say, I want to let the Jets my team. Okay. Been from, I've been up with them from the thick and thin. Worse, and when they were great. I'm cheering for my team. Jets defense, I, I'm not disappointed how we played. We had opportunities. Uh, just it's just how it, it's it's funny how this is how the Jets I'm starting to watch how the Jets operate. The defense comes to play, but the offense doesn't. But when the offense comes to play, the defense don't show up. Can we get on the ball and have two of our dying team? Defense comes to play, offense comes to play. We are the laughing stock, second to last. Laugh and stalk in the NFL next to the Lions. You know what The Lions. And they just got the first victory a week ago. What are we doing? Explain. Explain. You don't have an explanation. We are playing absolute ass. We had chances, but we didn't capitalize on the offense. The defense could do on much. They hold their whole ties in there. You played a great game. What you, what, how, you, you want the defense to lose yards, capitalize, break up plays, and also score all four quarters? What are we doing, Zach Wilson? What are we doing, our receivers, running backs? So I know I didn't say my arm back. We had lost, we lost two running backs from injuries. It's the next man up. Step up. You're in the league for a reason. Don't let this opportunities that you have in your hand slip by. You know what I'm saying? And that goes for me. If I have any opportunities that I should seek around, I hope I don't miss but Jets. Jesus Christ. Season over. We're going to not the playoffs. We're going to Cancun or wherever the fucking vacation you guys gotta go to. Is it? Great Ben Saints. Um, nothing more. Uh, Alvin Kumar. Great job, Tyson, uh, Tyson Hill. Great job. Defense, 
pretty good. The same defense all around is good. Okay. Falcons and Panthers, this was a disappointing game for me. Disappointing game for me. I had the Panthers win. The first drive. Can I do? Not the first drive. Was it the first drive? No, I don't think so. Was that? Correct me if I'm wrong. Goes in, runs it, runs it from the 15 into the end zone. Ties up, I think ties up the game or seven. Oh. What we doing, bro? And Cam goes on the when you throw the interception, but hey, Cam, I don't know about playing quarterback. I got a little strong arm myself, but I never played position. But do you think uh, don't let it get a little little heat off the ball helps your helps your uh, wide receivers? Just beaming the ball consistently and don't even see the opposing team's gut. Doesn't really go on work. You know what I'm saying? Catch an air off it, my boy. You got a strong arm, but you understand sometimes you need a you know, how this how the basketball players flick the wrist. You need I, I don't know. I, I, I like the cam. But that is a horrible play. You played horrible this game. You played horrible and you know it. They had to put PJ PJ uh The backup quarterback in. And once because he was injured, but I think it was a calf or your hamstring. Then he said, You got to sit you out, period. You just don't do interceptions. And y'all were still in the ball game. That, that's the sad part about it. Falcons, great. Falcons defense, a great job. Oh, <laughs> my Ryan, you think you're getting praise for me? Next. Um, Seahawks versus Texans. Beautiful fucking game for the Texans. Beautiful game for the Texans. Let's, let's look. I mean, the Seahawks. Beautiful game for the Seahawks. Russell Wilson couldn't even stop. Ty Lockett. Let's talk about underrated wide receiver. You see that 52 or 56 year old Bob Russell goes in pocket? This man's a route runner. He needs to be talked about more often. He's literally under the radar for no reason. For no fucking reason at all. This man's great. He's very productive every fucking year and every goddamn game. One of my boys. Hey. I want DKF Metcalf to get involved more. But, you know, like I said, if that wide receiver locket is hot, DKF, you gotta pay a back seat to this man. And he's been in the team no more. More more getting yours. So he, him and Russ has more chemistry. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, you get decap by getting with stream screens. Um jet streams. Jet jet streaks pretty much is what is uh wide receiver verse. Comes down the down the hot right motion, come down hand the bump, hand the ball over. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think because he's very powerful, very strong. Give him a hand the ball, let him, let him work. You know what I'm saying? I like to see that more often, but Seahawks is really opening up that fucking offensive playbook, too. Yes, and their defense is very good. Um, Texans, I got another say about y'all. They lost. You know what I'm saying? And y'all starting that white, uh, white, the new uh, quarterback for the rest of the season. Yeah, see how he works. I get what he's doing, trying to build him confidence for next year. You know what I'm saying? Let me see how that works, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Raiders versus Chiefs. We all seen that. We all seen that blue up coming out a long time ago. We all seen the blue up. Patrick Mahomes look like he's back. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes look like oh, he's out there flunk. You know what I'm saying? Raiders, garbage. You know what I'm saying? Keep knocking yourselves right out the playoff line. Just keep keep knocking. I think you I hope I think you are. Probably probably not. Still probably in a run for a ball card, but just the way y'all play, I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Get them out of here. Chiefs, great victory. And I chose to win. So, so far, Steelers with Vikings, I lost that. My prediction was wrong. Saints versus Jets, my prediction was wrong, so I chose Jets. Falcons versus Panthers, I chose the Panthers, and that was wrong. But the Seahawks versus Texans, I chose the Seahawks. And the Raiders versus Chiefs, I chose the Chiefs. <sighs> this next game, sketch my head. I understand that these uh, Lamar Jackson got injured, but uh, Ravens versus Browns. 
Mm. Annihilated. You know what I'm saying? The backup quarterback is not that good. He's really good. Making up moves. Almost crossed up the whole goddamn all, all defense. But Jesus Christ. I really don't want to talk about that much. Um, great job, Browns. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ravens. Jesus Christ. You lost to the Steelers. You lost to the Browns. These are divisional teams in your division that you should not be losing to. You know what I'm saying? And now having victories over you is a bad look for y'all trying to prevail and move on into the playoffs. I don't know. Play with more aggression. Play with more pride when it comes to playing divisional teams. That's in your division, I'm just saying. You see? And also in other teams, too. <sighs> All right. Great job, Lions. I got that wrong. You see? Cowboys is Washington. Cowboys got them niggas up out of here. You see? Say? Great victory of the Cowboys. Prescott. Lamb. My boy, um, Cooper. You see? Say? What's his name? What's his first name? Number 19. He used to play for, play for Alabama. Um, Galloway. Number 13. Great wide receiver. Stephen Curry is important. Ezekiel Elliott. Pounder. Uh, great defense. Cowboys defense is very really scary. I'm not going to lie. And especially secondary. Jesus Christ. Number 11 is a fucking monster. What is it? Outside linebacker? He is a monster. Two sacks, forced fumble. Yeah, I, I, this man's a monster. And he's a rookie, by the way. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> teams are going to be, gonna be like, <laughs> scoping, scoping. <laughs> Let's go to the uh, next game. Jaguars is Titans. We told you. What I told you? Titans. Titans. Like I said, they, uh, they are a young team, Jaguars. Young quarterback. Got some young special players. Veterans as wide receivers. Also on defense, but he got grip. But it's just not good enough. Especially explosive teams like Titans. You're not going to win. You see? Know I got that right as well. You see? Know Another game. Giants was a charge. That was a blowout. Don't look that for you. Was it 38? Or 40, 38 to 27? Or 40 something to 27? They, the Giants was out since the second quarter. They got smoked in the second, the first half. Third quarter got smoked. Fourth quarter was just like, all right, give them some points. You know what I'm saying? Giants is trash. I see what Sean um, Barkley was doing, getting them yards. You know what I'm saying? Shaking string quarterback. I don't know you. I have no like, I have no regulations of how what you played in. I, I don't. You know what I'm saying? You're tall as hell, though. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's trash. You know what I'm saying? Dogs. The whole team. Offense, defense, special teams. Straight trash. You know what I'm saying? you going to join us with Jets. Not into the second, but not in the preseason. Not in the season. Playoffs. But you're going to be sitting down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got that correct. Now, I wanted to see the Lions a bit win. I really did. I really did. Yeah. Yeah. But put an ass up in the Broncos. Put on that niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I really wanted to see me get the number, a second back to back win. I really do. This is, but I went on pure notions. So. The Broncos lost. I mean, the Lions lost. Got the ass smacked. Uh, beat. Plundered, pulverized, get them out of here. You say? Great victory on the Broncos. Let's clap it up. Lions, uh, this season was done since your lost five games. You say? Um, get them out of here. I got that wrong. Bengals versus the 49. What I told you, what, didn't I tell you it was going to be a good game? I, I just have an eye, a keen eye to certain games that's going to be very good. This came to overtime. The Bengals came back and pushed it to overtime. Kicked a field goal. 
And then the damn 49ers move up the field. Then he said they're tying up the game. And number 11, I don't know, he's for sure Abbott, what was the name? Um, great footwork, keeping his foot in bounds, dragging it while diving into the end zone and in the game. And for the 49ers to win. That was a beautiful game. I'm not mad about it. It came down to wire. I it, well, I really thought the Bengals were going to lose. How the 49ers was just a busting their ass. First, first quarter, second quarter, and third. Mid, mid third. You know what I'm The Bengals came on with a woo Like, we in your bitch. You know what I'm saying? And came out and just like, oh, we, 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 we here. Forced the overtime. But damn, I wanted the Bengals to win. Jesus Christ. I'm not mad about the, the, outcome, the outcome of this game. It was a beautiful game to watch. Amazing. Heart, grit, anything. <coughs> it just came down to what team wanted more. You know what I'm saying? And the 49ers did. You know what I'm saying? Another team. Another game. That came down to the wire. Bills versus Buccaneers. See, see. These two games. 49ers and Bengals. And the Bills and Broncos. The Broncos was moving up the field. You know what I'm saying? Causing havoc, moving how they want to move. Bills came, another team came back from deficit. Made that, made that man John Brady sweat a little, missed a lot. Ooh, wait a minute. But did not come up with the victory. <sighs> now, this game upset me because I really thought that it was going to give a little upset for the Bucks. And you know what? But two games losing streak to the Bills, and you see these goddamn Patriots. They didn't even play this week because they had a freaking bye week. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Come on, bro. This one stinks for me. And I got that wrong because I chose the Bills to win. You know what I'm saying? So another wrong on that part, eh? You got your Sunday night game, Bears versus Packers. Now, hey, let me tell you about the Bears. The Bears' first two quarters gave these Packers work. Justin Fields was looking elite. And then they crumbled at the, the body pressure. Aaron Rodgers came, became discount double check for Aaron Rodgers and said, Hold up. <laughs> you niggas didn't have no car insurance. You can't ride on, my, on this ride, on this field. And you play a Lambo? I feed off that. And you're the best. I own you, bitches. You see? Know Came back and just wowed out. Jones, the running back, dealing that freaking bulldozing running back number twenty-eight. Devontae Adams, you don't even have to talk about him. He gets in the, he gets what he wants and he takes it. No cap. You know see? Number thirteen was playing good. I didn't see a lot of uh, Randall Cobb. You know see? But you know, Randall Cobb is gonna be Randall Cobb. You know see? He's a veteran, a little older, but you know, he still got his productive. He's still gonna be productive. But the young cats was getting their hands on the ball. You know what I'm saying? Defense said, you know, we're gonna shut it down, and that's what they did. Great fucking game with the with the Bears. I didn't expect the Bears and the Packers to be a good game. I didn't expect that shit to be a blowout. But the Bears actually came to compete and but then to them it wasn't good enough. You know what I'm saying? You didn't play all four quarters. You know what I'm saying? You gotta play all four players, but ladies and gentlemen, you just can't play one, two, go in half and come back and just get your ass smacked. You know what I'm saying? Left to right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, the Monday Night Football game that we just, y'all probably saw last week, probably watching the highlights right now. Um, the, if you missed it, Rams and Cardinals. What I say about Kyle Murray sometimes is something about this man. He's like a little bit of Lamar Jackson. Let me see. Prime example. This pen has a cover, has a back. You know what I'm saying? But you remove it, your pointer, a back. It's like a double edged sword. I wish I had a sword, but I don't have a sword. You know what I'm saying? 
You will win with Kyle Murray and you will lose with Kyle Murray. Dude, two passes deflected off the line of scrimmage. You probably say it's not his fault. There's a lot of quarterbacks, you know, if a guy is like 6'6, six, 6'5, six, six, put his hand up, it's like a tree. You know what I'm saying? You could deflect the ball. And then the ball could wobble in the air. And, you know, the defense has the opportunity to pick it off. You know But so this play is that he made with his legs was just pure stupid. Let me spin, you know what I'm And keep going backwards. For what? The obstacle of going playing football is inches going forward. I understand you trying to make a play out of nothing. But keep backing your team up, fifth, losing about 10 yards. What you doing, bro? What you doing? Go forward. What? You're using your speed, your athleticism, your little height to take advantage. I get it. Anything? You're running with the ball like this. I'm surprised you don't fumble a lot and players don't see it like a local bread. This is how he rolls the ball. Like this, like the ball, like right here. All I gotta do is smack that. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't tuck it, and he knows, but he about to do it slides. But golly, I would say that the Rams offense, Rams defense played a hell of a game. Von Miller, this Aaron Donald, it's a monster. <laughs> He's been a monster since he got into the league. Number 99 defensive end. You know what you say? Aaron Donald, what do you say? You don't really hear about Patrick Ramsey in this, this game. Um, DeAndre, uh, DeAndre Hopkins dropped a fucking slant, which should have been a first down at, with one and a half, fourth and two, I think, in the red zone. Because to me, DeAndre Hopkins is the best hands wide receiver in the league by, by far. I call him for sure Hopkins, what do you say? Because he's always sure handed when he catches the ball. Like, what are we doing? Hopkins? Come on, baby. You, 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 for sure, you, for sure, Hopkins. Ah, and no, he knew he was his back too when he dropped it. I don't know, man. I, I, the Rams played good. Cool the cup. This man's another person locking, underrated. 13 catches. 123 yards. He's a fucking monster. My man, old Joe Belkin, played a hell of a game. 77 yards with a top, one touchdown. They said Odell Belkin was the problem in Cleveland Browns. I told you the problem is Baker Mayfield. He is not a franchise quarterback. He's not. He's been proven to me and proven to some of y'all. If you kept your eyes open. That this nigga's a bomb. You know what I'm saying? Secondary quarterback at best. You know what I'm saying? He's not a starter. Yo, what keeps him in the game? Defense? Because the Browns do have a solid defense, especially if fucking Fred Ford. You know what I'm saying? And they got a great secondary. And their fucking run game is amazing. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Are you kidding me? I keep saying this since the whole first, the, the, since the beginning of the preseason. What keeps Kyle, what keeps Baker Mayfield in the goddamn league and goddamn starting lineup is because of those two things. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Rams. Odell Beckham is getting his urge, his surge, this oomph back. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. Let's cap it up. He's not sure. He's, I like that little touchdown celebration with the surgeon, with the fake gun. And, Fake survivor skills, that shit was amazing. You know what But you know what I like about him? His mind is now matured. No immature, immature shift off the field. You know what Or on. No hot tempered. He understands that his role at this uh, better, let's say, let's be honest, there's a better quarter, there's a better wide receiver than you on the field. He's number one. Good to go. And you understand the role. I could be second, I could be third. You know what but I'm going to get my touches, and when I do, I'm going to make the best out of it. Odell, I respect you for it. You're starting to have a mature 
you start maturing, you should have matured younger faster than that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what got you, all that seen all that money. Usually I hear always happens, but it's beautiful to see that a person is mature and you know what I'm saying? You can still do that funny celebrations. No one had a problem with those. On the golf club, but good feeling with the goddamn Rams. Stafford playing fantastic. Defense is always playing fantastic for the Rams. You know what I'm saying? Scares you? Yeah, scares that? I don't want to see the Rams in the playoffs. I'll tell you that much. Um, so I went negative here this week, ladies and gentlemen. Negative. Yeah, my 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 losses is more than my wins. That's when it comes to my predictions. So let's go down to Steelers versus Vikings. Steelers lost, and I was wrong. So Vikings took that victory. Saints versus Jets. Saints won. I chose the Jets. Guess I was wrong again. Falcons versus Panthers. Panthers. I chose the Panthers, but the Falcons won. Damn it. Music. Seahawks versus Texans. Seahawks won. I got that. Let's put that up. Check there. That's one. Raiders versus Chiefs. Again, let's check that. Yes. Music. Ravens versus Browns. I chose the Ravens. The Browns took that victory. Me saying? Cowboys versus Washington. Cowboys with a bust down boom like pussy. Whoop their black light out the rear arena. Me saying? Shot fire. Boop, boop. <laughs> I chose the Cowboys win. Check that. Jaguars versus Titans. Titans taking the victory over the Jaguars. Check that. Giants versus Chargers. I chose the Chargers because the Giants' ass. Check that. You see? And then here we go. Lions versus Broncos. Broncos push the side, the Lions. The Giants are body. You see? For good. You see? Check that. You see? Oh, I got that wrong. Because I chose the Lions. 49ers versus Bengals. Great fucking game. I, I will say the game of the week. 49ers versus Bengals. Bengals. I chose the Bengals to win. 49ers took that victory. X. I was wrong. You see? Bills versus Buccaneers. Bills. I chose the Bills to win. They should have won, but the Bucks won. So I was strong. You know what I'm saying? So your Monday night, your Sunday night football game, Bears versus Packers. Bears, great victory. I mean, Packers, great victory. Got that right. Bears, you have potential to be good. Use what you did in the first two quarters as an advantage to teach, to learn like this could be us. Look, we scared the Packers. Look what we did. Learn from your, learn from, you got a lot of gain from this. Like, you know what I'm saying? It could be a very good, huge confidence boost for the Bears. You know what I'm saying? And your Monday Night Football, Rams versus Cardinals. I chose the Cardinals to the win. They lost to the Rams. And that's my prediction recap for week 14. Hope you enjoy. Hope you love it. Hope you enjoyed it. I have no more raps for y'all. <laughs> But, um, yeah, this is it. Hope stay tuned for week 15. Hope you enjoy this. I love y'all. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed as always. <laughs> ah, hand speed is real. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Bounce with your boy. Bounce with your boy. Love y'all. <laughs> I'm excited. That's all. I'm just a little excited. I'm a little excited.